I love JoeBlow.com. I'm serious. Rob, last time we talked, yes. uh, which was last year here at right. Comic Con, right. was just before Deadpool came out and all the, the hype and phenomenon took off. So I'm just curious, like for now, what is your reaction to like all of this craziness now? You, you know, it, it's like you mentioned this this time last year is where this got the first fan approval, the first overwhelming fan approval, and you could see everybody involved took a deep breath and like we may have something here because that Hall H was crazy dude I mean that that Hall H I was standing off off uh, off to the side of the stage a lot of Fox people um, Rhett and Paul who, who wrote the movie were there and when they showed that trailer and you know I've been to the Age of Ultron the rollout of the original Avengers lineup when Downey Jr. came out and rolled yeah. them all out and I mean I've been on my feet I've been crazy um, but I never saw anything like that and, and, and it's so revisiting this a year later it is kind of you go it was here that the lightning first like struck and you go, Deadpool's gonna be a success. On what level? But you could tell, especially with that last shot that Tim ended the trailer on with the three shot, boom, 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 yeah, yeah. the headshots, you go, I think the fans were like, we're in for something. Yeah. And so, yeah, dude, after after the opening and the ridiculous success Deadpool had, I mean, it's just awesome. I mean, look, I speak and talk to the fans every day and they are beyond excited. I guess we're like five months out from when it you yeah. know, debuted and they still, they still absolutely, I mean, in this hall at Comic-Con, every few feet, you know, I get how much they love the Deadpool movie and how much they love Deadpool. And, and again, I always say this because I just, I feel it has to be said that, that it, it's it's to the credit of Tim and Rhett and Paul and Ryan, that that they're like the Fantastic Four, which is kind of funny. Uh, that they're like they're like the Fabulous Four for, for, for Deadpool, you know? And I'm so excited they're all coming back. We talked about this last year in terms of like, you know, what a cultural phenomenon was even before the movie Correct. hit. Yeah. And it's, and, and now it is just like really, really snowballed. So, I mean, it, did you anticipate that it would take off as big as it is now? Paul, the, the people uh, at Fox will tell you I was always the, the most bullish. And, uh, and I would sit there and go, I think this movie's gonna open to, and I'd give a big number. And I was rebuked and told, hey, 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 don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Because I was just excited. But, but because this is my everyday life. And last year, especially, I was coming off doing like 19 conventions. So I knew. And again, I've seen all the action figures over 25 years. I've seen the statues, the trading cards. I know what he means to that fan base. And it's always tricky. Are you going to make the right? Look, had they got it wrong? We'd be talking about a whole different kind of disaster. Oh, I mean, yeah. you'd be talking about all the lights getting shut off, all the all the switches getting. But no, because it was a success. Uh, you know, I've already. When I get here at Comic Con on Wednesday preview night, I get to see all the stuff that I don't know about yet. Yet that that Marvel hasn't let me know is being being produced. And so I go, oh, Gentle Giant has one, two, three, four, five new Deadpool items. Last year they had two. Now they're going to five. Every licensor has definitely upped. So I think, and 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 here's the thing, they're not doing it on the cheap. These are some of the best statues oh, yeah. and some of the best um, action figures they've done to date. Tell me about Bad Blood, because this, yeah. this is a graphic novel, is yes, that right? Uh, brand new graphic novel should be coming out early 2017. I talked to Marvel sales guy a couple times this week, and, and they're, they're really looking for, they've been nothing but ridiculously supportive. Uh, I, I, I'm telling you, I went to them, I pitched when they, when they approached me last year and said, is there, is there a possibility we could do this graphic novel together? And I was like, you know, I was kind of suspect. Why graphic novel? Like, is that, is that like what you give like the, the people like to put them over here on the side? Like, you don't want to, and they're like, no, Rob, it's, 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 we're doing really good in the books, the bookstores and it, you know, in the book market, this, this is something we really want to get behind. So obviously a hundred and some pages is a lot to chew up, to, to, to bite off. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I teamed with two really great guys who are producing, uh, the X-Men 92 comic book. And that's, uh, Chris Sims and Chad Bowers. And I submitted my story to Marvel. And didn't know if they'd approve it because it delves a bit into, uh, I would say, the teen years of Wade oh, Wilson, okay. which and we haven't really seen a whole lot of. And and they even said, Rob, we don't have reference on him at that time because I wanted to be on on model. And they're like, so run with it. <clears throat> but it's about a guy uh, who, who, as a teenager, uh, Wade was familiar with, was somebody he knew, and uh, maybe always looked up to Wade and wanted to emulate him. And we now find out that that followed him into the workshop. And so uh, it's a guy who he has tangled with over the years, but has never, uh, the, the guy shows up, bests him. Uh, you'll see a couple of times they interacted where he got the better and then vanished. But there's, uh, he's becoming a more, 
a more increasing. I don't even want to give you the name of the character, but because uh, that'll get, <laughs> I, he, he's a brand new character, uh, great new great, great new bad guy with some serious uh, tethers to Wade's past. Cool. And and uh, a lot of action. One of the adventures we dive into the past with involves Cable and Domino and X Force. So back in like '92, uh, back in that age, and so they're all very upset to see Deadpool on the mission. And then this new character emerges, and and, and there's a great sequence of Deadpool telling Domino, "You don't remember that this happened?" <laughs> and then we show from their point of view, like how they were suddenly the bad guys attacked, and Deadpool got pulled in underground, and Domino goes. Oh, I'm sorry. We were kind of busy over here. We and he's like, I got beaten to the inch of my life, and he's so disgusted with Domino, and they just part ways, and and then they meet up later. Look, it's a fun romp. You get when when you the one thing Marvel did tell me, they said Rob, the great thing is there's no next issue. There's no you, you get a there's no cliffhanger at 20 pages. You get 100 plus pages to tell your story, and they have been great. And uh, my editor Jordan White, uh, honestly, the other day called me up, said Rob, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the best work you have ever done. And, nice. and I said, that, dude, to old Rob, old Rob <laughs> is happy to hear that because I'm working hard, man. I had some guys that I looked up to in the business who kind of fell off. And you're like, what happened, man? Don't you care about your work anymore? And so I'm at home going, you know, I'm trying to, it's still, if I'm going to put it on the page, hope that it works out. So very excited about Bad Blood. Um, and like I said, uh, I, I think it, that the fact that they let me open the door and tell a little past and introduce this new element is, is, is really exciting. It's the most exciting part. Writers later on that, that were writing the character on, on a regular book, yeah. they could always pull from aspects from right. Bad Blood if they're like, hey, we really like that. 100%. Let's I, 100%. Make it it, let's say uh, Bad Blood is something that people really like. I expect the, one of the new villains to be an action figure eventually. I expect him to be uh, open to all sorts of different you know exploitation. Um, I mean, I went in there. I, look, when you get to. Uh, do something like this. You want to make it matter. And and again, Chris and Chad and I, <clears throat> we wanted to give the tone of the movie as well. The, the thing about the movie that separates it from some of the comic product, not all the comic product, in the movie, Ryan is truly the only um, insane, crazy, um, outlandish aspect. Like Ajax, Francis, is very serious. He is a very serious guy with an agenda, a mission. Um, you've got all the people that Wade hunts down. I mean, they did him wrong. They're bad people. And the only other um, kind of com comedic element in the movie is Colossus. And part of that is from his voice and talks like this. Oh, Wade, why you do You know, that makes him funny, but he's otherwise a straight guy. True. Sometimes in the, in the comics, it's like, dun -dun 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 it's like wacky tunes, you know? You're like, this is, everyone's like, tongues out. And, and so the graphic novel, we're kind of, going for the same tone because we we would i mean obviously the movie opened up deadpool to a much bigger audience let me tell you something i'm having dinner last night here in san diego with um some of my wife's friends and you know we're in our 40s and 30s and uh these four wonderful i'll just call them cougars uh were telling me oh my gosh we love deadpool so much we saw it and i'm like and that wouldn't happen to be because of ryan reynolds or i mean we're, let's make some connection here he's obviously a drop of that yeah we saw it because of ryan he's so wonderful but the movie is such a joy it's it's such a great one of the ladies looked dead at me and said it has such a wonderful love story and that is what i've always said that Rhett and paul nailed they nailed that That's that true. movie has heart and that is why people responded to it but so we're trying to go for the heart and and, and, and emulate I, what I, because I believe, and I, I'm sorry if fans disagree with me, the Deadpool movie is the best Deadpool of Deadpool products. Like, that's that's my opinion. Uh, I'll stand by it. I've read them all. There's, that doesn't mean the other stuff isn't great. I just think Deadpool is the best. Again, Marvel, that doesn't mean all that stuff isn't great. I love it. I own it. I just think the movie pulled it off in a way that maybe hasn't, you know, taking it to that level. So it's just, that's what we're trying for. We're trying to go for more of that tone. And like, as I said, you want Deadpool and Moby Dick, that exists. That's there for you. You want cute little Deadpool, there's Funko Pops, you know? <laughs> In uh, a lot of those Funko Pops. <laughs> yeah, oh a, a ton of them. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, more than Hot Topic can, sh can, can, can put on their shelves at the, at the moment. Obviously, I mean, we know there's going to be a Deadpool too. Correct. And we know Ryan is going to be a part. We have basically the whole, you know, crew is back. 
Um, and I know you can't talk story and give us, you know, I mean, you, or, or what direction they're going, but what, what would you like to see and what do you feel about, you know, the sequel now that it's coming, you know, the, in, in terms of pressure after this one just hit? I have two things that I need to say. How lucky are we, and I'm talking to all of the Deadpool fans out there, how lucky are we that we're getting a sequel? For a, year, for a year ago, I'm telling you, it was, I t I'm telling you that the minds at Fox were like, did, did we make the right decision, green light in this movie? And then in Hall H, Hall H said, hell yes, you made the right decision. I mean, that was, I, I just got goosebumps. Hall H was crazy last year. And, and that's when you went, um, I think the Hollywood Reporter said how Deadpool won Comic-Con. And you go, I, I think going in, they really weren't expecting that. And, and, and so how lucky are we that this gamble has now turned out to be, I mean, I remember going, Oh my gosh! Okay, so it it broke every record for Fox opening weekend, um, um, three day weekend, um, opening day, and so obviously it's Deadpool. The great thing is it's it's so valuable to them, and what I mean, I mean they're just they just want to protect it and make the best possible follow up, which is why they secured Tim, and obviously Ryan is coming back, thank God, and they got Rhett and Paul, and like I said, those guys are the Fab Fab Four, and look, we all saw Deadpool, right? And at the end, he looked right at the screen, and he told us, "We've got Cable." And I think they're negotiating with Kira Knightley so that she can lock up Cable, like Ryan said. No, didn't he say at the end? Didn't he say like, and Kira Knight? No. I look. I I, I believe that uh, I'm very excited to see what they come up with. Rob, thank you so much, hey, thank um, you. and thank congrats. You so much. Oh man, same here. And seriously, congrats on the success of it. I mean, again, I told you before. I mean, I grew up. I was buying the the X Force yes, yes. and, and the New Mutants when oh, sure. when Deadpool was introduced as a kid I off know. the shelf. So seeing all this happen, not just for you, but like for a fan of myself, it's like at that time when I was reading that book, I, I never imagined seeing what we what we saw. I'm gonna tell you real got. quick. I'm gonna tell you. I can do this really fast if we're, if we're still right, rolling. We're good, we're good. Okay, so I went into my storage unit not too long ago, and I didn't realize that I had all the Wizard magazines. And I haven't revisited those in 25 years. And I grabbed like one through 20 and 21 through 40. I just took them out of the boxes and I started reading through. And you know what? Anybody who doubts that Deadpool and Cable and X-Force were, were definitive of an entire generation, just go back. You're like, oh my gosh, Deadpool's in every top 10 list. And you know, X-Force is in every top 10 list. And Deadpool, trading cards, Deadpool, action figures, people, and, and that's when, because there's this new fan that wants to go, oh, Deadpool just happened recently. No, it didn't. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. I know. I, I, I introduced him. I am aware that he was hot from the beginning, you know, and so it's, it's great that he's been he's been carried over. And like I said, those uh, pretty soon people on social media will be able to re revisit those wizards with me because I'm taking a lot of pictures. <laughs> I'm just like, I got to get through Comic-Con and then I'm going to sit and I'm going to load them all because it's funny to see. It's great to see. I'm like, oh my gosh, even I had forgotten how, I'm like, how many weeks in the top 10, how many months did he, I mean, so those books, like you said, and I appreciate, seriously, everyone who ever bought one, like a guy today brought me like 10 New Mutants 98s and he oh, goes, wow. these are all the ones I bought off the rack. And I'm like, dude, you took good care of these. This guy took good care of them. Because honestly, to buy 10 of those now, that's a lie. So, yeah, yeah. so I, I oh, believed God. him. <laughs>